Hey guys, welcome back to part two of the uh, DIY stunt wire system. So like we said, the pulleys we bought just didn't do the trick. There's way too much friction in them. So we're actually going to make our own pulleys using some of the components from the pulley and some components from Boca Bearings. Let's take a look. All right, so we have our standard pulley that we uh, got from Home Depot and it's meant for rope, but the problem is there's way too much friction. So what we've done is we've got some bearings from Boca Bearings, and these are called grooved bearings. So they have this nice V groove in them. And then we're going to use that Kevlar rope we talked about um, to support us. So to convert it, we're actually going to take apart the old pulley, and we're going to use the housing with the new bearing. But we're going to have to do a few things. We're going to have to drill this hole out to fit a shaft of this size, um, put a shaft in with a cotter pin, and then the other problem is the Kevlar rope could slip out of this and then catch on the bolt. So we're also going to make some recessed washers which will snap onto the ball bearing in order to keep the Kevlar rope from slipping. So let's start building. So we've welded together our very own shaft cotter pin kind of thing. So it's got the washer on the one side to stop it from coming out of the pulley. And then we can put a real cotter pin in the other side. And then we have our two um, recessed washers that we made using the laser cutter. And as you can see, the ball bearing fits inside. And then it actually overlaps the edge. So now if the Kevlar rope uh, comes up onto that, it won't slide off and land on this, it'll land on the washer instead. We need to uh, sand that down a bit more. Now we're just doing an initial test of the pulley and it seems pretty good as you can tell by Ian's flailing legs. So here is our new and improved pulley with our custom cotter pin, Boca Bearings bearing, and two laser cut acrylic washers to prevent the Kevlar from slipping out and catching on the shaft. And it feels pretty smooth. Time to hang the first pulley. Alright, so we're going to use a double figure eight knot to end the Kevlar, which will then attach to a carabiner, which then attaches to the harness. Nice and easy. Perfect. Tighter you pull, tighter you place. Alright, so now we have the carabiners on the other side. The other guys are going to put some weights on there. I'm going to clip these to my belt loops, and uh, we'll be ready to go. Both of you. <laughs> and now we, uh, this is what we're doing, isn't it? I know, I know. It's just seeing okay. the weight there is kind of like it's gonna break something. Or someone. <laughs> I can't, I can't jump with that. Okay, okay, just keep 
Get out of the way. Adam, get out of the way. Everything's rated for it, but like it just looks so sketchy. You think? It works way better than the last one. <laughs> I think you should do this. All right, do it back though. Uh, how am I supposed to do that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Oh, there there goes. Goes. Me and you pull. Uh, what? Pull. What? Pull. Pull. Hang off of it. Can you get him up to the light? <laughs> it's like Peter Pan gone wrong. Okay, Adam, come trade with me. Adam, give Adam a second. Come trade with me. With your head. Okay, now you're higher. So you should put math on the How does China do this? How do they make it look so easy? <laughs> Incredibly. How comfortable is that on a scale of one to ten where ten is good, zero is bad? Looks like you got your uh, you got your wedgie wish. <laughs> this is really high on the bridge. Did that did that not happen to you? My ribs? Yeah. No. I crushed it through my ribs, right? No, because that's not here. Good job, Point Dexter. Woo! That's pretty awesome. Now we can make this a game by getting rings and you gotta get it around his head while he's jumping up and down. Alright, so the problem with 15 foot ceilings is it's really hard to change the light bulbs. So we built this intricate pulley system in order to do that. <laughs> that was interesting, I didn't know what was happening. Are you trying to do a backflip? That's not encouragement. <laughs> the ground, Ryan, and I will, Ryan and I will prevent you from... Uh, well, Ryan's over here. Will we? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so. All right. Backflip attempt number one. Woo. Isn't so bad. Backflip attempt number two. Maybe front flip. Yeah. yeah, helmet. Alright, I'm done. I can't breathe. This is what it's like wearing a corset. Worse. Of <laughs> course, it's know a. what it's like wearing a corset. Because I know that I did the mask for the pressure. Alright, he's fine, remember? Someone gotta help? <laughs> well, we're actually kind of enjoying this. Oh, this is a long one. <laughs> yeah, where's the short one now? I don't know. Short one? Oh, there's the short one. <laughs> We'll get to it, don't worry. Alright, so first test was 
pretty successful. Uh, there's obviously a few kinks we need to work out, but the new pulley system works great. There's barely any friction, and I think we have something. What do you think, Ian? Yeah, definitely a better harness would be nice. Yeah. <laughs> Other than that, it works pretty good. It's fine. We should probably add the second pulley to bring the weights farther away from the person jumping, though, because yep. I know everything's rated for thousands of pounds, but just seeing that weight held up by a string, it's kind of a... Disconcerting? Yeah, you know, it doesn't really inspire confidence in the design. So, uh, I don't know if we're going to let our friends use this. What do you think? <laughs> think that insurance, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, see you next time when we... Um, Make it a bit better. And get release forms. And get release forms. Good idea, cameraman. Cameraman 2. Not cameraman 1 who's filming right now. <laughs>